Hello and welcome back to day four at Nationals in Canberra. Today, I am joined by two guests who I've been looking forward to interviewing them for a while. Before Nationals, this is one I've circled in as I know very, very little about the sport. So this is as much of a learning uh, experience for me as for anyone listening. So, gentlemen, if you'd like to introduce yourselves. Why the hype is up? Uh, <laughs> no pressure. Uh, I'm, I'm Max, uh, captain of the Redbacks Rusby team. Yep. And I'm David. I'm the team manager of the team as well. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. And we, have we had a good trip so far, boys? Definitely. One yeah. to remember. One to remember. It is. Uh, it's up there, actually, from our trips. I think so. <laughs> Third one for both of us. So, yeah. you know, the okay. lovely Perth coast, the lovely Gold Coast, yeah. and uh, Canberra. We yeah. weren't expecting it to be this good, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. Quality stuff up here. I'm guessing, so, the, the, the games are obviously still on. Maybe hard to rank uh, the three experiences you've had. Could this be first, second, or so far are we putting it third? Or is it unfair to ask this too early? It's definitely top three. <laughs> 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 I yeah. feel like we need to... We need, Friday I'm is... I'm flesh it out, yeah. Whatever, whatever Friday's you, the deal breaker. Friday <laughs> really is <laughs> a deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up on the Saturday and you go, oh, bugger, this, this is a great night, actually. This is a great trip. You <laughs> wake up and... Oh. Perth maybe was probably the, that was a deal breaker for me. The crew up. Yep. Yep. Saturday morning, sitting on the plane with everybody, want, everybody wanting to vomit all the way up <laughs> down the aisle. I was like, this is not the trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this is up here. We like it. Okay, good, so, yeah. good, good. Um, a quick question. I actually haven't written this down, but just mm -hmm. talking about, so you've been to multiple nationals. Yep. Obviously different environments than what you faced here. How much has the game changed being in Canberra as opposed to looking back at past nationals? Does the weather uh, affect the way you guys play here? or uh, like It's been a bit of a weird, windy week. Like mm. Usually on the coast you get like a lot of wind, it's pretty gusty, but yeah. here I swear the wind be gone one way for a minute and a minute later it's gone the other way. Yeah, right, okay. So, a lot of throwing of the grass has been happened on the <laughs> sidelines. It's, we like, it's talk about in frisbee it's always you talk about is it crosswind like going across right. the field or is it downwind or upwind yeah and that really you know depends on you know, if you're playing you know good defense or not like how the wind's going it really affects how the game plays yeah yeah yeah. yeah. um those conditions have yeah they've been very haphazard i'd say yeah um in other places like perth and Gold, yeah. goldie it's been like coastline so that's constant wind right, right always right. from the same direction yeah, but this yeah, has yeah. been um yeah it's been a bit chop and change but yeah, it's still good fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get you. So, boys, how did you get into the sport originally? You know, uh, as I said, starting this pod, I don't know much about it. And in that sense, I've never actually, uh, one, either been recruited, not that anyone would recruit yeah, me. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, how did you get into the sport? Uh, I guess I got into it first. Uh, most people kind of get into uni, but I'd say I'm lucky enough to have my high school PE teacher. Oh, awesome. He used to play for Team Canada. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. So yeah, yeah. he got our class into it played a fair bit and went to a tournament and got recruited from there it's, it's a bit of a um bit of a suck in as soon as you you played one you just you're in for it forever yeah you go yeah, you can't leave <laughs> you sign a believe me i've tried <laughs> we always talk about leaving leaving oh, god i'm just so done with this sport all right we'll play tomorrow <laughs> and me i um i've just this was actually i started out on my tea and mm -hmm. i just it was uh, probably my, my first year was 2021 mm. looking down the list of clubs and I went that looks goaded <laughs> <laughs> ultimate frisbee that's the one yeah. Um, and yeah went to the missed the first training because I panicked and was like no maybe I won't take the hour train to go to their training yeah, yeah. and then yeah came to the first yeah. Tuesday training met this lovely hunk and <laughs> <laughs> never been the same since <laughs> how's, how's his uh, how's his game evolved since you've seen seen him join uh, at the start of uni to, uh, to now off-field game is elite as always, uh, <laughs> but uh, on-field, like, you know, seeing him the first time, just like a springy boy, yeah. kind of get ready to harness that uh, athleticism he's got. Um, yeah, it's been good. Like, we've had the opportunity to play at RMIT together, but outside yeah. of this, we also play at the same club. Oh, amazing. Okay. Um, so you got the chemistry. Enough, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's good. But uh, unfortunately... Big man's lost his left knee. Oh, really? <laughs> ACL. Oh, no. <laughs> so he's, he's seen an absolute decline. <laughs> I mean, he was, a, he was better a year ago. <laughs> yeah. A year ago. Picked up there. We've had, we've had good fun. But no, I've seen Maxi skyrocket. I mean, I've said in the first two, I'd knew, knew, known him since 2021, as I said. And um, yeah, I hated him for the first two years. <laughs> because he would, just wouldn't talk about anything I was interested in, interested in and just was overall an airhead. Mm -hmm. um, but then... Yeah, here we, we are. are. Here we are now, and, and he's now just, you're the ahead too. He's, 
I think it's just got level. Level. we're now on the same wavelength. <laughs> but he's just yeah. Maxi's an absolute gun on the field. Runs our yeah. Frisbee runs at O line and D lines, and uh, Maxi could do anything on the field. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Okay, so talking about on the field, can you guys explain? Uh, how the positions work. Is it similar to other sports where you've got certain defensive positions or is it a little bit like offensively, it's pretty like two different positions. Mm -hmm. You've got handlers who primarily will start with the disc mm -hmm. and um, do most of like the throwing. Mm -hmm. And then you've got cutters slash receivers mm -hmm. and they're like downfield by like 15 meters away. Mm -hmm. And their idea is to just like get open so that they can get thrown to mm -hmm. and continue the flow mm -hmm. up towards the end zone, which yeah. is you know, how you score. And defensively, it's more like uh, you can play sort of just two different ways. It's like there's seven and seven on the field and usually we'll go down in a match. So we'll just stand there at the side of the point and we'll just p pick out players there. I've got one or that person's got seven. So mm -hmm. you, know, mm -hmm. you pick out your player that or we've run a zone so we do a little like a cup so three people standing where the disc could be mm -hmm. and then people standing down that's like poach, poaching off and mm. not sort of not playing honest defense and hoping that the wind and other factors yeah, yeah, yeah. make them turn the disc yeah, that yeah, way yeah. Yeah. yeah well, okay interesting so i've been getting into american football the last few years and from by the sounds of it it seems quite similar with the way you described offense the way you described defense um yeah. there you go okay i didn't realize that definitely That's modeled cool. off it it's uh it, it was made in california so right okay i'm sure it was yeah. lots of inspiration for american football okay. like same okay. similar shape field end zone to catch yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. o-line and d-line very common are they yeah. well, ours are called we've got ca the cap line and the yap line that's our yeah. that's our name for them <laughs> you have to differentiate yourself somehow. <laughs> yeah, i love that that's great are you are you allowed to um are you allowed to uh kind of play people off the ball a bit like blocking shielding yeah i'd say so uh, i mean you're, you're allowed to in some regards maxi yeah i mean there's a, there's lots of rules and it's self-refereed which is a different one that blows my mind yeah <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that later i've got yeah. a question on but that. yeah so there's a rule called a pick Yep. And the idea is that if you're defensively on someone and someone gets in the way of you defending them, mm -hmm. you can call that and you're allowed to stop play and catch up to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there's not as much like screening like there is basketball. It's mm. pretty much not allowed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so if, the only thing is like you've got to call it as well. So, you know, it happens all the time, but it's whether someone calls it, like whether it's significant enough to call. Mm. Yeah. And then this, this level of Frisbee, it's very like, because people are sort of, this is where we're picking it up and that's where I started playing and a lot of people start playing. It's very like, uh, yeah, how experienced people are in wanting to call it and it, like mm -hmm. it, it happening. So yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's very dependent on the, on the, on the, the level. Player. Of, yeah, yeah, the level of play. Yeah, yeah, right. There you go. There you go. And so is the only way that you can get the, uh, the disc from the opposition just by intercepting it? That's the, the main... I mean, if, if they throw it to the ground or out of bounds... Okay, so, okay, okay. Yeah, it's very much possession-based. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay. What is the... What's the hardest thing about the sport? What, 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 what is something that every time you get onto the pitch, you're like, okay, this is something I really need to keep a mind on? Is it different for everyone or is there kind of universal... I think, like, you don't realise, but there's quite a fair bit of running. Like, it's a 100-metre mm. long pitch and... Like a main play is to cut deep, which is pretty much sprint 60 meters. Like, yeah. And if you're doing that back to back to back, it's just, you know, four or five 60 meter sprints in a row. Yeah, so that's yeah. why we've got a team of 17 up here. Yeah, right. And there's wow. only, only wow. seven on the pitch at a time. Okay. Okay. So plenty of rest and then go hard once you're on. Yeah. 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 And, there's, and correct me if I'm wrong, is it an 80 minute game time? Yes. yes. Yeah. That's a lot of game time. It's very like, it's. <laughs> Frisbee's a bit whack in this way that it does like 80 minute, 80 minute soft cap. Yeah. So that's like we say 80 minute. This is the time where the game should be, should happen. Yeah. And then past that point, we'll decide, okay, whatever at that point. So it's at 14, it's, I uh, say it's 12, six. Mm -hmm. We'll go, okay, score at uh, soft cap. Now the score to get to is 13. Okay. So okay. one, the uh, one team only has to score one more point and the other team has the chance to catch up. Yeah. Right. Okay. So it could okay. keep going on for longer. Okay. Cool. 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 So a bit of, uh, Sounds like when you used to be in school and you play, I mean, I grew up in England, so playing football at lunch and something, it's like next goal wins kind of thing. Yeah, except sense, one team has one to team catch has to work up. Their way back. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we give them the chance. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit <laughs> forgiving in that way. It's a very silly sport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is the word I'd use. <laughs> um, all right. So as I said, to begin, I haven't really, uh, I've never played ultimate, obviously. I rarely get out to throw the the disc as you guys have been calling it. I've, not, I've locked that in now guilty <laughs> <laughs> any any tips when when starting to throw the disc because whenever i do it it seems to bend right okay i'll try different hands i'll try the way i throw it always goes right yeah um i guess the main thing is that getting lots of spin on the disc okay. helps it like float instead of uh, like wobble and that's wrist movement yeah all, yep. all snap of the wrist yep. 
I think most people when they st- most people when they start we call we call it a dad backhand. Like you just yeah. hold it out in front of you and just you know rib rib wood chip. But <laughs> the way that the way, the way the best way to go about it, we've always the way we always teach it at Tuesday trainings and that is it's always just sort of like on your forehand or your backhand. It's always like cracking a whip. So everything should come from the wrist movement mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. nothing. It, a lot of people try and add their arm into it. Right, right, it's right. It all should be in that wrist and it should just be like a, a, a snap mm-hmm, straight mm-hmm. at it. That sort of and then as Maxi said, you get the revolutions on the disc and that's what makes it stable and interesting fight okay. for the air okay and so the arms more for uh what direction just aiming and i mean it, it adds works. a little bit of distance when you're throwing long yeah, yeah yeah but like realistically once you play it for a bit like you can just stand there snap your wrist and throw it about 30 meters yeah yeah right wow so it's just okay. sort of like dialing in on that so like starting short short and then you can sort of get that consistency yeah 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 and yeah. out there yeah yeah who's got the uh the how uh, Normally, I'd describe it as the biggest arm on the team, but how, is there a different terminology for it? The biggest wrist on the team? <laughs> biggest wrist. Uh, he's, That's a good one. You're looking at him. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I've thrown a lot this week. <laughs> <laughs> Maxie's sort of Maxie's our mainstay at the moment. We uh, had a lot of turnover from last year. Okay. Right. So uh, we sort of just every time Maxi gets and it's a bit of a we just go on the sideline when someone this is how frisbee works on the sideline yeah. when someone has the disc who the other team or your team you know they're the one who will go for it like yes. make take the big shot we yeah. call it a bunts or whatever you want to call shooter. it yeah on the sideline everybody calls shooter shooter <laughs> and then uh, yeah so every time Maxi gets it he gets a lot of those calls <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. big yeah. arm on him mainly from him it's just big glazing <laughs> going on <laughs> uh, we love it <laughs> Um, do the skills required to play uh, ultimate transfer to other sports and then vice versa? Do you find people from some sports in particular coming to ultimate? Funny you say that. We actually, two years ago in Perth, yeah. had two uh, lovely women come from mixed netball because okay. their team didn't get together. Yep. Uh, they came and picked it up pretty quickly. I think the netball, the way that you have to pivot and stop once you have the disc, mm-hmm. there's no running with it, mm-hmm. is pretty transferable as well as, like, of course, they were very fit people, so... A lot of running, you know, mm-hmm. came pretty easy. Mm-hmm. Good hands as well. We also have soccer players. And then this year, year soccer yeah. players. Um, Interesting, right. Which I think their most transferable skill is just like, soccer is also 90 minutes of just running mm-hmm. and lots of sprinting as well. Mm-hmm. So I mm-hmm. think that's really helped them, um, you know, be able to join to this game and yeah, for pick sure. it up quickly. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Do, you get, do you get a lot of footy players coming in with that like ability to just kind of get up or well, that's, basketball players? That's me, uh, footy that's, and basketball. Okay. That's what I we guess. were hoping actually as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we were like doing before this, before this trying to get more... Uh, like yeah, the AFL women's team. Just AFL nines to come and play for us. We were like, yeah, please yeah, yeah, come yeah. play. You guys would be <laughs> so good at this. Because it's such a, yeah, it is a, like everybody everybody throws a frisbee at some point. In yeah, yeah, it yeah, is yeah, a bit yeah. of a transferable sport. And you do see those people who are like, you know, naturally athletic, just excel in the sport as, mm. as they have done in, for years past and this year as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome, awesome. All right. Now, this has been something that's been on my mind for weeks, ever since I kind of started working on the podcast and hearing that Ultimate Frisbee was coming here, refereeing, I, this blows my I mind. I going to be, is, are you single? He's dialed in. No, the refereeing, so are you saying? Yeah, well, just like, so look, you referenced it earlier. I've heard it uh, in the weeks running up. It's self-refereed. How often are you guys disagreeing with oppositions about, like, like it, it's, it blows my mind that the players have so much control over that kind of area of the game. Yeah, I guess the one thing that I think is meant to hold that in place is that we play with this thing called spirit of the game Mm -hmm. and that it's uh, a score of the other team. But really what it is, it's making sure that you're making calls that are fair and making sure that like fair minded, there's all these sort of categories you score the other team based on. So it's like if you're not going to be spirited, you're going to get marked down on that. And it doesn't really have a direct effect, but I think just like knowing that it exists Mm. makes people play to some sort of integral level. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But of course, as soon as the game gets competitive, you see, you know, people making calls based off, you know, the ego, based off, you know, trying to just win the game. Yeah, yeah. Um, But that's why there's things in place like contesting, which is not agreeing with the rule. Yeah. And there's just certain outcomes that change based off whether you agree with the call that they make or if you disagree. Yeah. The main one is uh, this non-contact, but yep. if there's a foul on someone catching it, you can contest that 
and it goes back to whoever threw it. So it's kind of like a replay. Oh, right. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. very, yeah, we always joke about on the sideline when something, you know, it's like when it goes our way or like when it, we think the right outcome, we always say the system works. <laughs> it just works. <laughs> because when we go and watch other sports and like, you know, say example, we're watching the basketball team and it definitely goes off their, their team, but they all stop pointing in the other direction. <laughs> yeah. No, it's ours, it's ours. <laughs> but, and then like, you know, you come back to our sport and it's like, marginally marginally hit the ground before they picked it up they, yep. everybody ah bugger it yep. is yeah it's yep. yours yep. that's point they like that's the you point to say it's down you definitely yeah, get right. discus okay. down okay yeah. okay you yeah. definitely get rinsed if you you know make a wrong call everyone will get into you yeah yep. yep. you yep. don't want that do you? exactly <laughs> and then it comes out in the spirit the spirit circle after they yeah. say yeah. Yeah. that was some shit goals there <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky bastard <laughs> <laughs> how how have the uh the 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 way of the calls been going this comp have we been getting more calls losing some calls what are we thinking pretty pretty good i'd say i think that overall i mean as our team is sort of this is this year is a bit more about we sort of focused out focused our minds on trying to keep the the vibes and the and um development yeah, high development high exactly and i think that uh with that like with people sort of unknowing like where your sort of team sits in sort of the pools and mm. like how we how we're operating people sort of res- that a little more and they put a little bit more spirit on especially players who aren't as confident you know yeah, it's, it's yeah. a very welcoming sport so people from the other team talk through calls and they like yeah, help yeah, yeah, yeah. your team actually make the right decision it's yeah. very like I think all the experiences we've had this tournament have been very yeah very good, st- yeah. stellar yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I mean, you guys are really selling this sports, me. I'm really liking what I'm hearing. This is great. On dry Tuesday nights, <laughs> we got a new James with us. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. What's What's the most fun that you guys have had in a game at this competition so far? Has there been a specific moment where you're like, "Wow, thank God I'm here right now playing this game." Um, my favorite moment I've probably ever had is. Um, I like, I like, I think low stakes, low stakes mm-hmm. Frisbee. I think mm-hmm. a lot of the time we, Maxie and I are very goal oriented and where we want to go and do stuff like, um, yeah, make, make teams or like, you know, play at a very competitive level. But yeah. I think that the best Frisbee is the one where it's sort of like, you can just have the most fun. Yeah. And that's normally like, at, we've got a, a tournament that happened in Torquay last year yeah. where we played on some pickup teams and people from South Australia. <laughs> we've got some Kmart shirts printed on the logo. <laughs> <laughs> They've got the sour heads. Um, yeah, and we just, yeah. We just had a great time. We just had a great time. We just like that's th- awesome. throwing with each That's other. That's really and, cool. Yeah. yeah. Know, being yeah, silly. Yeah. We're a very silly club. <laughs> yeah. As I said. <laughs> no, it's good. It's yeah. good. It's relaxed. Um, what's, the, what's the community like? Do you guys, do you know a lot of the other players from different universities? Is there a bit of crossover? Too many. Too many. Too many. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's, it's a very tight-knit community. Like, there's only so many people that play Frisbee in Australia. Right, so, right. you know, now that I've been playing for a while, every time we go again, so I know at least a couple, and we'll meet a couple mm-hmm. yeah. too. No later. I my mate, my mate James, <laughs> not you. <laughs> um, James is like one of he was one of my best mates, and I watched him go around when I started frisbee. It like twenty twenty. These are like university mixed tournaments. Yeah, going around is everybody. How you doing, brother? How you doing? And I was like, how, the, how in God's name does he know a person from Deakin, person from Melbourne, and everybody? Yeah. And then you spend one year in this sport, and you're like, oh, I know that. Guy. <laughs> It's very like it's very tight knit, and once you spend one year here, you're like, oh yeah, I do know everybody. Yeah. We're, we're goaded. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have we got another? Is there a favorite university in terms of the people that you know? In terms Ooh, of this playing? is this is a test for us. Do you want to do it at the same time? Three, Three two, oh, one. Deacon. Deacon. Yeah. Hey, Deacon. Nice. 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 Yeah. nice. One of our best mates was playing there. He's just had a break this year, and we're like, oh, I don't know how this how this club's going to go now without him. You know, yeah. without our best mate. He's he's our trio. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, had to mention at some point. We just their, their club's great fun. They the Deacon Dragons. They um, always keep it light. They keep yep. it breezy. Yep. And yep. Uh, yep. definitely Pato's legacy, legacy game, legacy game. <laughs> I'm loving this chemistry. This is excellent. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> we spent too much time. Right, we, <laughs> we found the new member of our trio. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Pato. <laughs> All right. So as I said, talking about recruiting people, uh, if you were trying to send out a message to people watching who might be interested in the game how would you sell the sport what are the big the big things where you're like this is why you want to play I think with us dave if you just talk about like how you're welcome to the club like like it's the perfect example that we've just got a community of people that are just so welcoming mm. to come and try the sport like dave never played before came down and yep. we got a welcome barbecue at the start of the year mm-hmm. we get like 40 or 50 people down on a nice sunny day labor day every year mm. I think that, the, yeah, with this sport, more than anything, I think I felt, yeah, at home. Mm-hmm. I think it's very just like, yeah, once you're, you're in, it's like, yeah, you can't, 
yeah, we said you can't escape, but almost like you don't want to escape yeah. as well. Um, uh, especially our club, I think it's one big family, and we yeah. all yeah, you just look after each other, and that's sort of like you know what else would you want from your sport? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's why we play sport. You know, team unity. It's it's good, man. It's exactly. Good Football. Football. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! Um, all right. So you said you've got a couple of games tomorrow. Do we? Yes, we do. Two yes, games. I thought one, but one game. Two. Alrighty. Great to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> do we? Do we know <laughs> one definitely? Like one game. At least one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah definitely yeah. at least one. Do we know who it's against? UNSW. I want to say. Yeah, they'd be bottom. They'd be down there. <laughs> They've had their fall off needs to be studied. <laughs> <laughs> I think they came by second last year. <laughs> they came by like second last year, and now they're with uh, the. Uh, what do we call we'll them? Call them the shit kickers. The shit kickers. <laughs> uh, hold on, let's think of a better word. Wait, true, that's us now. The wooden spooners. The, spoon, the spoonies. <laughs> the Richard Daggers of the world. The Richard... <laughs> Ipswich. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're probably going to verse them tomorrow and yep. give them a go. Give them a run for our money. Keep the vibes up. For it. sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. Have a lot of fun. Awesome, awesome. I'd love to make it. I'd love to make it. Do we know what time this is? Uh, probably probably 11, I think, is my guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. 11. In the morning for sure. We'll say 11. We'll say 11. All right, but you'll be, over I'll be at there. hours in the morning. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you breakfast. <laughs> you might have been done it first. <laughs> I'll give it a go. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, no. Oh, no. you <laughs> Wow. Oh, my God. Um, all right, so your, t- <laughs> your time in Canberra at Nationals outside of Ultimate. What have been some of the sports that you've enjoyed the most going around and getting to? Well, we went and mixed a netball today, which mm-hmm. was good to see our ex-teammates killing yeah, it. They, yeah, yeah. they won by like 10, they won easy. Yeah. Couldn't miss. Yeah, we they were just like got that. the sideline, got massive uh, Absolutely. beach volleyball in us, yeah. dancing volleyball. about, yeah, giving yeah, celebrations yeah, 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 to yeah, the yeah. players. It was nice and fun. We went and visited beach volleyball two days yeah. ago and we versed them in a game and yeah <laughs> two of them on one side of the court and 20 of us on the other <laughs> <laughs> of course we got the dub <laughs> don't check the tape though don't check the tape <laughs> run it back run yeah. it back oh dear and um, after your game or game slash games yep. tomorrow uh, is there something that you're trying to pencil in being like oh I'd really like to get to this sport or just take it as We've it comes we really wanted to track down the golfer we yeah, really wanted we were, to track down the golfer we were going to have a go, go ourselves we heard golfers coming in and me and Dave, a couple of hacks ourselves. Um, <laughs> we're like, oh. Call me Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> Switch it up, get it, get out of Frisbee and uh, have yeah. a go at golf. Show yeah, them what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, you guys missed the golfer about 10 minutes before we started. He just came back in. I think he's either in that room there or one beyond. Mm, so good but, looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even met him yet. <laughs> <laughs> you already know that. <laughs> all right, gents, that's all that I've had for today. I have to quickly say this has been the most seamless podcast. I'm not going to have to edit a single piece of this. This is lovely. <laughs> thank you very much for your time. I James, really appreciate it. Lovely and, action. Uh, good luck tomorrow. Gents, thank you very much. Really appreciate the time. And for everyone listening, uh, we will see you tomorrow for day five, the final day of sports in Canberra at this Nationals in 2024. Thank you very much for tuning in.